fellow named Ernie Pound uh, <laughs> and the Red Wagon story. Uh, and 50 years goes by. Tell me about Ernie and, uh, and the connection there. We had a uh, field trip slated for first grade and it was walking, you know, maybe five, six blocks. At that time I had steel leg braces on both legs and I, w I knew I was different and I was deathly afraid of holding the class up, of, of, of being behind and them being out here and having to wait and I got to trudge, catch them. And, uh, so our teacher had told us two weeks before this was going to happen, so for 13 straight days I'm got anxiety and I'm getting nervous about this thing coming up. Day of the trip, Ernie Pound comes in with a little red flyer wagon, tells me to jump in, I'm going to pull you, and it just lifted everything off my shoulders, made the trip fun, and the other kids in the class, they wanted, they all wanted to pull Dave, take their turn, and it made a fun day. And, and uh, for a, a six, seven-year-old boy to, I don't know what he was thinking, but he saved me a lot of problems that day. And who's this to? Uh, Ernie Pound. How are you, buddy? You know you're in there. Where are you now? I'm in Odessa. You're in Odessa. This is a surprise. You knew he was coming, didn't you? He did. <laughs> He's quite a guy, that is. <laughs> you found him, I can't believe it. Thank you very much. Funny thing is, 50 years later, I had a reunion with this guy. We were doing a book signing. Unknown to me, they had found him. And he came. As I was signing books, I'm looking up, and I'm saying, you know, who should I sign this to? And all of a sudden, one of them says, Ernie Pound. Oh, gets me. Because 50 years later, that guy didn't know what he did for me. That guy did not know what he did for me. <clears throat> and I apologize. But he does now. I made him aware of that. <clears throat> 